Hi grade 4, welcome to your next lesson of Recorder this term. Today we're going to be looking at a new piece, Dream Waltz, and we're going to learn a different way to hold the B note. And we're going to be using two different B notes in the same piece, but they'll sound exactly the same. It's just an alternative to holding it. So, let's start off by learning this B note. Let's zoom into the recorder and let's see how, it's, how it looks like. So, this is our normal B note, when we pinch the top hole and hold nothing else except our thumb at the back. Now, if we want to hold an alternative fingering for this B note, what we're going to do is, imagine you're holding a G, all right? So a G has your index, middle, and ring finger down. Now, you're going to remove your index finger. Boop. The one that was holding that B, you're going to remove it. And now you're just going to be left with these two. This is also a B note. So listen to how this sounds. Versus this one. Back to this alternative B. Back to the normal B. They're exactly the same. So sometimes you'll find in recorder, they want to use this alternative B because it helps them get to other notes quicker. And so it prevents like an awkward movement or such a quick movement of like, oh, I've removed all these fingers, I've put these, all these fingers back on. It allows you to be a bit settled and say, all right, let me change from this B and go to like this A or to this G. Look how easy it is to go from this B to this G. Look how easy it is to go from this B to this F sharp. Look how easy it is to go from this B to this D. You see, these two fingers are here, but if I'm going from this B over here to this D, it has a lot more fingers moving. So we're going to be using this B and this B in this piece today. So get used to this B and we'll play in our piece. Let's zoom in to Dream Waltz. All right, so for Dream Waltz, we're in the key signature of F sharp because that hashtag, the time signature is 3-4, meaning three beats per bar. Every line shows the bar. Now we have these little eyes, not little eyes, these are capital eyes, and we have them in twos. Those are Roman numerals. So this will show us our second fingering for B, all right? Notice how it's on top of the B note. So every good boy, then we have that two. So we're gonna be holding that B second fingering. Here as well, B second fingering. B down here, second fingering. B second fingering. Let's see if we can find some Bs that will not be held with our second fingering. I see one over here. I see another one nowhere. So it's only this one right over here. Every other B is held with those two fingers, your middle and your ring finger. All right. So let's start off by reading the rhythm. One time with me, then by yourself. One, two, three. Ta, a, ta. Ta, a, ta. Ta, a, ta. Ta, a, rest. Ta, a, ta. Ta, ta, ta. Ta, ta, ta. Ta, a, a. All right, don't forget. Three beats. Don't go ta, a. No, it's three. Ta, a, a. All right, your turn. One, two, three. Rest. Ta, a, a. Easy stuff. Not hard at all. The trick with this song is... Not, it's not complex in the notes, but it's about trying to get that speed. We're going to do it slowly, but then at the end, we're going to see if we can take it quickly. So it can be a nice one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Then you, it becomes a proper waltz, okay? So let's start off with the first bar. Third space, that is a C note. So we're going to go C, B. Let's play it out loud. And we're using that second B fingering. So let's practice that. Three, go. All right, so notice how from this C, I'm holding this, these two with my middle finger. Then to get that B, I just add my ring finger right there. Instead of going like this, this is my C, that's my B. Let's go for it. First bar, one, two, three. Again. Let's go to bar number two, high D, back to B. Three, go. Remember, second fingering for that B. Let's put bar one and bar two. Both of those Bs, second fingering. Three, go. Let's go to bar number three. G, A. Three, go. Again. And then we finish it off with that B. So no 
Second finger, just a regular B, so that means single pinch. Let's go for that fourth bar. Three, go. Rest. Again. Rest. Let's go for bar three to bar four with that regular B fingering. Three, go. Rest. Again, from bar three, go. Rest. Let's go bar one until bar four. Remember these two, the second B fingering, this one is the first B fingering that you know. One, two, three. Again, a little bit slower. Three. Rest. Let's go to our second line. So what we have here, the exact same notes up over here. A C and then a B with our second fingering. So this four, first bar and this fifth bar, exactly the same. So let's play bar number five. Three. Again, don't forget that second fingering. Now let's go to bar number six. We're just going to go from a D to a C to a B using that second fingering. Three, go. Again. And let's keep on going. So D, D, C, B, A. Then we have a low D. So let's go from that D to that A. Three, go. So D, remember, all six fingers, index, middle, ring, index, middle, ring on the other hand. So always have your thumb here so that you're not, oh, you're scattered everywhere just to get that D. Always have the thumb right there. So let's go from this A to that D to that F sharp. Remember F sharp, those two fingers right here. So what index, middle, ring, skip that whole middle ring over there. Let's take it A, D, F sharp. Three, go. And let's finish it with that G for three beats. Again, bar seven, bar eight. Go. Again. Let's take it from bar six to bar eight. Three, go. Remember to use that second fingering. Let's go again, bar number six. Go. Let's go from bar number five, the whole of line two. So from that C to that B, all second fingering Bs. Go. Again. Let's take it now from bar one to bar eight. So line one and line two. Nice and slow. Two, three. Rest. One more time, same speed. Two, go. Now let's take it a bit quicker. One, two, three. One, two, go. Rest. Again. One, two, three. One, two, go. Rest. So that is our dream waltz. 
The best thing is try and play it quick. It's okay if sometimes you're playing that regular B instead of this new alternative fingering for that B, but really try and get into your vocabulary. Let it be one of those secret weapons you have just in case so that you can be able to get all the switches and all the movements nice and good. All right, grade four, so that's Dream Waltz. Simple piece, the trickiness is in playing it quickly. When you can do that, then now you're playing some real waltz music. The Austrians would be proud. So get used to that new B fingering and have fun practicing this piece. And I'll tell you next week what I'm expecting from you for your midterm assessment. Have fun practicing grade fours.